quite a little bit on that for you first. So I just said, um, All right, so uh, yeah, we'll get, get rolling. So the first thing um, I want to say to everybody collectively, I'm not singling any person out, so I was away Monday, I was away last Monday, um, and I set a task, and then it was like, you know, put some notes in your journal so I can see what you thought about it. Um, and like broadly speaking, I've been pretty unhappy with some of our journal reflections. All right, so I'm not speaking to one of you in particular, but to all of you. So I'll just say like, the journal, all right, the, the reflections, they're not, it's not busy work. It's not something I just get you to do to keep you busy while I'm away, all right, and you do what you want to do. Um, and it's not something that's sort of optional, you know, do it if you want. It is something that is compulsory, it is something that's mandatory, it's something that I do want you to do. So can you guys tell me, why do you think I would get you to answer questions about some of the content that we've gone through? So we might be understanding. Yep, perfect, yep, so we need to see what you've understood and what you haven't, very good. What else? So you can remember it? Yep, so you can absorb the content, all right? So you're more likely to take it on if you have to reflect on it and answer a question about it. Yep, absolutely. And there's one more, is that it encourages you to think about it, okay? Because it's all well and good for me to talk to you about something, but if you're not thinking about it yourself and processing it, then you're not getting anything out of it. And that's our whole purpose here, isn't it? To think about, uh, to think about different things. So this is, this is my claim going forward, is that your commitment to your journal reflections is going to be mirrored in my commitment to your draft feedback. Okay, so I'm going to give you draft feedback that's proportional to your efforts with regards to your journals. Um, okay, so today we're going to be talking about, we're, we're going to, we are going to talk about um, abortion, but before that we do need to talk about where we're moving in the journey of ethics. So what have we done, right? In term one, we did metaphysics, okay? So we've talked about the world as it is, what is. And now in term two, we've moved into ethics. And in ethics already, we've talked about meta-ethics, that is, do moral questions have truth value? Is a moral statement true or false? Can it be true or false? So that's in meta-ethics. And now we're moving on to applied ethics, where we're gonna take some of our frameworks and apply them to all manner of issues. So abortion is one. What's another ethical issue that we might have done last year or that we can think of that we're going to do this year? Euthanasia. Euthanasia, very good. So what's another one? Death penalty. Death penalty, yep, capital punishment. Um, and all of these are quite good to talk about because they're all the same in one way, that it's the ending of a life, but they're all different in another way, aren't they? All right? Um, so abortion, euthanasia, capital punishment. What else? So you want to uh, describe eugenics, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eugenics and um, other, we, we call them population ethics, I think. Yeah. Population ethics. Um, in here we, we have uh, veganism is the other one, so we're talking about animal rights. Alright, these are all examples of ethical issues. Um, and out of that, you know, you get political theory and so forth. So, when we're going to have this conversation, alright, we've already said, in order to talk about ethics, we have a few assumptions. Who can remember what they were? Free will. Free will? Yep. That we have free will, we can act with free will. What else? The world is real. Yeah, real world. You know, more or less how it appears to us and inhabited by people like this. Okay? Now, people like me. Now that we're moving into applied ethics, okay, we have to add a fourth assumption. Okay, so applied ethics is talking about what's the right thing to do in these circumstances. Yeah. Are they morally justified? Is it morally true? All right, what's the fourth assumption I need to add here to this assumption? Subjective morality. Absolutely, okay. Because for us to have a reasonable discussion about any of these, 
it assumes there is a reasonable solution, that there is a true answer. And so for us to talk about them, for us to argue about them, we are assuming that there is a true solution. Otherwise, the discussion is pointless. Okay, so we have to add that fourth one when we're talking about solutions to this. Otherwise, there's no point to the discussion. It's just, it's just my opinion versus your opinion. Okay, so the fact that we're discussing it and using reason to reach a conclusion suggests that there is some truth beyond our own personal opinions about it. All right, so that's good. Okay, now the other thing to say is when we are talking about this, all right, we're coming at it from a perspective of, I think, fundamentally um, love, truth, um, like forgiveness as well. So, and, and so, you know, within that, people are not evil. No person is evil, but acts, actions that some people take are evil, okay? So we're not looking, you know, we're not trying to condemn anyone. We're looking at it like, what is the right answer in, in regards to this? Um, what else do we need to say? Now, when, um, like if we think about good science, okay? So we're not gonna take one of these things, like abortion is a classic example, okay? It's just, it's an easy one to jump to, to because it's such a charged issue. People are more likely to have opinions about abortion than they are about capital punishment, okay? So abortion is a good one to jump to. Um, and what was I, what were we gonna say with that? So it, we, when, we, when we come to an issue like this, it's important we think about it correctly, okay? So we're not gonna take this issue and say, I have an opinion about this issue and I'm gonna pick my ethics to match it. No, what should happen is we have our metaphysics and our ethical frameworks. Uh, thank you. We have our metaphysics and our ethical frameworks and we see, we build up from the, from the base level, okay? Otherwise it's like, I have, I have a scientific theory about the world and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pick things that match that theory. No, for us to develop a theory, for us to, for us to understand a data point, we've gotta apply it to that theory, all right? So it's about doing things in the correct order. Um, and so that goes for all of these. And no doubt some of us already have opinions about them, okay? I mean, if you eat meat, then you've got an opinion about eating meat, all right? And so when we come to these things, um, we should ask ourselves, uh, we, we, we should try and be neutral. And it's difficult to, because we've already got opinions about it, but we should ask ourselves, why is it that I have these beliefs about veganism or abortion or capital punishment? Why is it that I believe it? You know, is it a coincidence that I believe eating meat is moral and everyone I'm surrounded by eats meat? Okay? Or is it, um, is it a coincidence that every TV show on Netflix is sort of pro, pro choice and that's a belief that I hold as well? Or is it a coincidence that, you know, there's movements in Parliament to legalise euthanasia and I'm a pro euthanasia as well? All right, so we're, not, we're, we're trying to remove ourselves from from all those forces that contribute to our beliefs, and we're just trying to look at the argument, and we are gonna try and remove charged and emotional language from it. Okay, um, and so within that, we're gonna try and steel man. Who can remember what steel man means? What does that mean to say? Back to the argument. Back to the argument. We wanna create the strongest argument for both sides, okay? We wanna assess the truth, not just try and justify our opinion. Um, if anything, you know, the pursuit of this is going to inform our opinion, all right? Um, and, and, and that's a fruitful thing. So we want to still man the argument for both sides. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, we're looking at the pursuit of truth. All right, I don't think there's anything else I want to say, really, um, other than what we're going to be doing today then is we're going to, we've got two essays that we're going to read together. Um, uh, so um, we'll, we'll look at that as well. So one of them 